Good day everyone. So our group is tasked to make a video lesson with regards to finding the Z value and D value. So, ayan. As we can see here, we will have two activities. But before that, I will give you first the formulas that are needed for our activity. So, unang formula ay the one for finding the Z value. So, the X bar here is stands for the sample mean. While yung parang letter U naman, which, we, uh, which is called mu, ay ay naman yung para sa population mean. While the, on the denominator, the letter O, the, na may parang guhit sa taas niya, ay ay naman yung para sa population standard deviation. And the letter N stands for uh, sample size. So, overall, Z value is equals to um, sample mean minus population mean over population standard deviation divided by the square, square root of the sample size. Halos yun nun din naman pagdating sa, um, sa T value. For the formula of T value ay nandyan pa rin naman yung um, sample, sa, the sample mean, the population mean, and the sample size. Although napalitan ng sample standard deviation yung kaninang population standard deviation sa Z value. Bakit? Kasi ang Z, pag ginagamit natin ang Z-test, kapag ang uh, sample size ay mas mataas sa 30. Kap tapos kapag ginagamit naman natin ang T-test, ibig sabihin ay ang sample size natin ay mas maliit o mas mababa sa 30. So, ayan yung isa sa mga key factors or key differences between Z-test and T-test. So now, let us move sa ating activity 1. Find my Z-value. So, for number 1, ang ating given ay sample mean na 21.75, population mean 20.83, population standard deviation 2.75, at ang ating, ang ating sample size ay 38. So, paano nga ba natin i-construct yan? Gamit yung formula kanina ay sample mean minus population mean over uh, the 2.75 which is the population standard deviation divided by the square root of 38. So, para hindi kayo mahirapan at hindi kayo malito, ay gawin muna natin ay isa-isahin yung um, kada value. So, sa numerator, 21.75 minus 20.83, that will be equate to, that will be equal to 0 0.92. So, the square root of 38 naman, um, that will be 6.16. Okay? We can, um, we can always try to to round it off to the nearest three decimal places. Okay? So, ayun, nakuha na natin yung square root of 38. So, 2.75 divided by 6.164. Okay? Sana kayo yung nakakasunod. And then, after nun, pwede na natin i-divide yung nakuha natin sa numerator divided by the denominator which is 0 0.92 divided by 0 0.446 Sa nanggaling yung 0 0.446 ayun yung, um, ayun yung um, quotient ng 2.75 divided by the square root of 38 which is 6.164 So, overall, equal ito sa 2.062 and so on and so forth Pero, Kagaya ka ng sinabi ko kanina, we can always just try to uh, round it off to the nearest three decimal places. So, our final answer will be 2.062. So, now, let us move to number 2. Ang sample mean naman natin dito ay 11.23. And then, the population mean ay 12.01. Ang, sta ang population standard deviation ay 3.0. And the sample size is 44. So, ayan. As we can see, 11.23 minus 12.01 over 3.0 divided by the square root of 44. And we got negative 1.724 and so on and so forth. And then the final z value that we can get is negative 1.725. Okay? So now, let us move to number 3 naman. The sample mean is 891.75. And the population mean is equals to 890.25. Population standard deviation, 11.75. And the sample mean, or the sample size, is 90. Again, let's just use the formula that is given earlier. 
So, 891.75 minus 890 minus 25 over uh, over 11.75 divided by the square root of 90. So, again, para hindi tayo malito at mas madalian, ay isa-isayin natin yung mga value kapag kinakalculate natin. So, that will be equal to 1.211, so 1, which we can just get the, um, the nearest three decimal places. So, our z value is equal to 1.211. Number 4, the sample mean is 45,000 while the uh, population mean is 46,000. The population standard deviation is uh, 1,795 while um, the sample size is 50. So, and 45,000 minus 46,100 or yeah, uh, 46,100 over 1,795 divided by the square root of 50. So, we will get 4.333 so and so forth and we can just get the uh, nearest three decimal places so z value is equals to negative 4.333 number five and last item for z value so the population uh, the uh, sample mean is 1.72 the population mean is 1.83 the population standard deviation is 1.05 and the sample size is 36. So, ayan, 1.72 minus 1.83 over 1.05 divided by the square root of 36. So, we will get um, negative 0 0.6285714. So, nakikita nyo yung um, parang line sa taas ng mga number. Ibig sabihin yan ay umuulit lamang yung value. Okay? So, the final answer will be Z value is equals to negative 0 0.629. So now, let us move to our activity 2, which is find my T value. So this time, we will have to uh, use the formula for T value naman. Hopefully, you're you're, you can still remember the formula that was given when it comes to T value. So dito naman, ay kanina kung gumamit tayo ng population standard deviation, ngayon naman ay sample standard deviation na ayun. The S stands for that one. So, um, population uh, or the sample sample mean is 16.4. The population mean is 15.86. The sample uh, or the the, uh, the sample standard deviation is 1.25, and the sample size is 21. Okay, so 16.4 minus 15.86 divided by or over 1.25 divided by the square root of 21 and we will get 1.979 and so on so we can just round off to the nearest three decimal places then we can have the t value which is equals to 1.980 next ayan so number two naman ang ating sample mean i246 population mean i245.85 Sample standard deviation is 3.25 and the sample size is equals to 29. So just just uh, use again the formula for T value. So we will have 246 minus 245.85 over 3.25 divided by the square root of 29 and we will get 0 0.248 and so on and so forth. And we can just round it off again to the nearest three decimal places and we will have 0 0.249 so for number three i am given i sample mean na 9.5 population mean na 8.25 and then the standard uh, uh the sample standard deviation is 1.45 and the sample size is 16. just use again the formula which is which will be 9.5 minus 8.25 over 1.45 divided by the square root of 16 and that will be equal to 3.448 and so on and so forth and then we will just get the nearest three decimal places together with the whole number which will be equal to 3.448 number four naman ito ang ating given sample mean 1.83 population mean 1.27 sample standard deviation is 2.15 and sample size is 10 okay so using the formula we will have we will just need to substitute so 1.83 minus 1.27 or 1.27 over 2.15 it 
divided by the square root of 10 and that will be equal to 0 0.8236 and so on and so forth and we will have the value of the t value is equal to 0 0.824 so for our final item when it comes to the t value the given here in the sample mean is 30.18 the population mean is 31.23 the sample standard deviation is 3.15 while the sample size is 23. So here, um, just substitute 30.18 minus 31.23 over 3.15 divided by the square root of 23, which will be equal to negative 1.5986 and so on. And we will just get that nearest three decimal places or round it off to the nearest three decimal places so our t value will be equal to negative 1.599 so that will be all for this video lesson sana ay marami kayong natutunan sa ating maikling lesson na ito so that will be all for now and thank you so much for watching bye bye